Welcome to On Purpose Ministries, where we, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, help you, my brothers and sisters, find your purpose so you can live in purpose, walk in purpose, and do everything on purpose. I am your sister, Rashida, and we welcome you. So I'm just here with a quick word, what God has placed on my heart to speak, and that is, it was just for transition, okay? It was just for you to transition into the promised land. Listen. When you came on this journey, it was a lot of things that God had required of you and things he had asked you to do. And many people are stuck there because they think that that was all, that was it. That's all that God had for them, or that's all that God wanted them to do, or wherever that position or that place that God had placed you was a permanent position. And it was just for transition. It was not meant for you to stay there. It was not meant for you to get stuck there. It was not a permanent change in your life. God is calling you higher to do more things, to do greater things than what you have already done before, but you're stuck in that position that God called you to because you thought that that's where he wanted you to be forever. And it wasn't, it was just for you to transition into where he is taking you. Even on your journey, God may have you to move to a new state, a new city, and that that's new state in that city where you are at were just for transitioning. It was not for you to be there permanently. And some it was, but where he had you living at, it was not meant for you to stay there. So he might had you to move to a new city, a new state, and he blessed you with a house or apartment or to live with somebody else, or you might be in a hotel or whatever the case may be. Those are not permanent living arrangement. That's not where God wants you to be. That's just a house that he blessed you with, apartment that he blessed you with, people that he blessed you to stay with, or Airbnb, a hotel, whatever it is your living situation is or was, it was just to get you into the land. But that's not where you were meant to stay at. That's why you have been feeling like God is about to move you again because God is about to put you where he actually wants you at. Because that place where you were at, it was just for transitioning. It was not meant for you to stay there. So you thought in your mind when God moved you to that new land, that apartment, that house, that he blessed you with that job that he called you to, whatever the case may be. You thought that was what God had for you. You thought it was a permanent change that God has made in your life, but it was not. That's why God would not allow you to feel saddest there. He would not allow you to feel complete there. It was always something in your spirit crying out for more, desiring more because God has more for you. That is not all that God had for you, but you are stuck there because you think that's what God wanted you to be, but it was only for transitioning. So if God has been placing placing on your spirit, excuse me, that he's getting ready to move you to a new location. He's getting ready to get, uh, move you out of that job or take you higher in that, uh, the position that you are already in at that place, whatever the uh, case may be, you know, your situation. I don't, but you know what God has been placing on your spirit. And it's something you've been struggling with and dealing with because you thought that where he placed you at, it was for good. Even in some of the relationships God brought into your life on this journey were not permanent relationships. It was just to help you transition on this journey. So God is calling you higher and he's elevating you. So he's causing you to let things go and you feel it in your spirit that God is requiring more of you and that where he has you at. Like I said, it could be a relationship. It could be a job. It could be a business. It could be a ministry. He has you working in. It could be your living situation. Even with your transportation, you feel it in your spirit that you, you're just, you're uh, starting to desire more in those areas of your life. And it's because God has more for you. It was not a permanent decision. It was not a permanent change in your life. You were not meant to get comfortable there. You were not meant to get stuck there. And that's why God would not allow you to get comfortable in that relationship with those friends that he called you to, uh, come on this journey with in that business or that, that career, that ministry, whatever the case may be, that house, whatever it may be for you. 
God will not allow you to get comfortable there because he's calling you higher. And that was not a permanent change for you. So if you've been desiring, suddenly started, you know, to desire more in different areas of your life, that's because God is calling you higher in that area. So don't think it's strange if you get suddenly you just start feeling like you need to start packing or you're about to move again or this job assignment is coming to the uh, end or this, you know, friendship or relationship that you, you know, have built with these sisters or brothers are, are coming to an end. It was not a permanent change in your life. God is calling you higher and the things that he d- had for you at this level can't go with you to the next level because he's calling you higher and he has so much more for you and so much that he desires to do through you. So that's all. That's it. That's the word. It was just for transitioning. That is it. It was not a permanent change in your life. Shalom family.